Crystal Palace are continuing to have one of the best summers in world football and they are on the verge of bringing in a wide midfielder and adding to the core of players they have brought in this summer already of Mark Ayi, Joaquin Madison, Michael Olise, Connor Gallagher a couple days ago and they're on the verge of bringing in a winger and that winger right now looks like they are on the verge of signing Arsenal right midfielder Reese Nelson but the very fringe player for Arsenal right now, the young mid, young English midfielder, still only 21 years of age, has a tremendous amount of talent, guys. And it looks like Patrick Vieira wants to go out there and sign Reese Nelson. It is only on a season-long loan deal that it is talked about for Reese Nelson. Patrick Vieira really likes his deal. He really wants to go out there and bid and sign Reese Nelson. He wants a right-sided winger. He wants a winger big time. I think he wants to get a winger on a loan deal to save some money. And it looks like Patrick Vieira wants to go out there and sign a striker. Good on him because they need a number nine who can finish with quality. And that's why he wants to sign a winger on loan so they can leave quite a bit of money for a striker. Obviously bringing in a lot of players already. But it looks like they're going to bring in Reese Nelson. And they also have Adamo Lookman from Red Bull Leipzig who played for Fulham last year. Who are also in talks. They can also go and sign him. But he will cost them a fortune more than likely. Quite a bit of money. That I don't think he is worth. Also got Burnley Watford. Also in talks for Adam Lookman. So we could see where Adam Lookman might land. But I think Reese Nelson will land at Crystal Palace guys. It is looking more and more likely. That Reese Nelson is coming to Crystal Palace. Like I said this is only a rumor. But I do really like this signing. I really like this a lot. Because Crystal Palace for me have had the best summer in world football. One of the best summers. And bringing in Reese Nelson to play on the right. Have Eze in attacking mid. Probably Michael Elise. I'd love to see Elise start in the Premier League. With Eze at the left side. You have Reese Nelson at the right side. With Zaha down the middle. Or he plays Zaha on the left. Eze in at attacking midfielder. With Reese Nelson on the right. This is a tremendous team Crystal Palace are building. And like I said in the Connor Gallagher video. There's obviously no buy option there. But for me Connor Gallagher doesn't bring. Won't break into that Chelsea squad. For forever for me. I don't think he will. But Crystal Palace level. I think he'll be starting from week in week out. Like I said maybe. They don't have a buy option in the loan deal right now. But maybe once the loan's done. They'll go back in and they'll buy him from Chelsea. That's how I think Reese Nelson would end up with Crystal Palace. I think he goes to Crystal Palace. I think he has a tremendous loan season. I think it's the perfect fit to play under a manager like Vieira, playing under an Arsenal legend, someone Reese Nelson probably looks up to as a club legend where he adores Arsenal. He loves Arsenal. It's his club. You go, you play for a club legend, you play your heart out for him to impress him, and you want to stay there, and you want to play for Crystal Palace and the guy you adore. And I think... Patrick Vieira is going to do a great job. He's bringing in some fantastic players. And I think Reese Nelson is going to have an unbelievable season being backed by, obviously, a club legend of Arsenal. And that's going to give Reese Nelson a lot of confidence, a lot of positivity going into the season. And obviously, Patrick Vieira wants him. He's already wanted one player. He got him, Connor Gallagher, immediately. And he wants Reese Nelson. So I think Reese Nelson is going to come. I think Reese Nelson is going to have a fantastic year at Crystal Palace. And. I think he I think you'll see Crystal Palace go back in next summer after the loan deal is done and go sign Reese Nelson because I don't think Reese Nelson plays for Arsenal. I don't think he's gonna break into their team. Obviously he's a fringe player for Mikel Arteta and he doesn't make the plans really for Arteta. You obviously got Martinelli, Bukayo Saka, Neil Smith Rowe, Lacazette, Obamia, Pepe. So many forwards over there ahead of Reese Nelson for me. I think Reese Nelson should just sign for Crystal Palace. Obviously it won't be uh permanent signing this summer because they don't have the money for it that's why i think a loan deal is perfect and then next summer when you have more money you go back in and buy reese nelson perfect deal for them and if you want to talk about his qualities he's amazing at crossing the ball into the box which i think is going to be beautiful for crystal palace side set pieces he's a beautiful gem obviously he's not the tallest guy so aerially he's not the greatest defensively he's not your strongest suitor so that's not going to help Crystal Palace but I think he can get taught that it's not a hard thing to teach he loves to dribble he loves to push that back line he's a dynamic dribble he's a quick player and he's so fun to watch I love watching Reese Nelson when he did play had that season at Hoffenheim I think he played very well obviously a fringe player to Arsenal like I said guys he's only five foot eight he only he did play last year six games for Arsenal not much at all 
Still put up two goal contributions in the Europa League. Only 21 years of age. Looks like Crystal Palace are diving back into the market. They want a winger. And it looks like Chelsea icon Patrick Vieira wants to sign Reese Nelson, the 21-year-old English winger from his former club, Arsenal, on a season-long loan deal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this deal for Crystal Palace. Let me know what you think of Crystal Palace's deals this summer. And if you think Reese Nelson will land at Selhurst Park and Crystal Palace. I think he will. I think it'll be a beautiful signing. And guys, stay tuned because I'm going to have two season previews coming out for the Premier League. We're going to be doing two a day. And just keep an update because it's going to be some great content coming out for you guys this coming weeks leading up to the Premier League. But guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the next one. Peace.